I gave an overview on the use of extracorporeal photophoresis in the treatment of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, particularly with the variant which we call Cesare syndrome. Uh, this therapy was invented in 1983, and it became very well known worldwide in 1987 when we published our first study in the New England Journal of Medicine. And my uh, goal was here to review the literature and the progress that has been done in the past 30 years in the use of this therapy for this particular indication. And uh, we have reviewed the literature of over uh, 37 papers that were published, either review articles uh, or uh, retrospective studies on the subject. And basically the report is that the efficacy of this therapy which was shown to be uh, significant in inducing complete remission in refractory patients, as well as uh, patients who were responding to other therapies but not optimally, uh, has been reproduced in over 1,200 patients that were treated with this technology. The complete remission rate basically uh, fluctuates around the same numbers that we had in the New England Journal of Medicine and the response rates basically the same, even though we would like to have, of course, prospective clinical trials which are still lacking in this, in this particular indication. Uh, the treatment in and of itself has shown over these 30 years that the, the side effect profile is extremely low, and that's why this therapy is very, very attractive for these patients. Uh, increasingly, uh, studies have been performed in the U.S. and Europe trying to figure out how this therapy works. Because basically, even though it's a very simple therapy based on dermatological photochemotherapy, we still do not understand the mechanisms of actions completely. Uh, we know that uh, during this treatment, the uh, combination of UVA light and sorolin induces apoptosis. We know that the induction and introduction of apoptotic cells into the bloodstream uh, enhances, provokes a, an immune response which seems to assist the body to control the disease called Cesare syndrome. The, the, the bottom line, of course, is that we need to do clinical trials, prospective clinical trials, and the most important news I was able to share uh, with the audience, uh, except for the fact, of course, that all um, guidelines on the use of treatments, uh, of photophoresis for treatment of CTCL include photophoresis as a first-line treatment, is the fact that the EORTC, that's the European Organization for Research of Cancer Cutaneous Lymphoma Task Force, is in the process of uh, organizing a prospective one-arm trial to test the recommendations of the European Dermatology Forum guidelines on how exactly to use this therapy in treating these patients.